Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul RV Bike Rack here on our 2018 Jayco Red Hawk Motorhome. Now, like the name suggests, this is motorhome approved, but it's also approved for any other vehicle you might want to put it on or trailer, fifth wheel, travel trailer, regular passenger vehicle, whatever you need. So if you decide later on that you want to upgrade to a fifth wheel or something, this bike rack can transfer over to that too. That's a really cool feature for me. But it is a hanging style bike rack here, holding the bike by the frame up top with these two zip strips, holding it down into the cradles. And then we've got a third one around the seat post here, limiting that side to side movement. I can move the pedals here and show you that side to side movement is really kind of cut down, limiting our bike to bike contact. There is a 37 and a half pound weight capacity per bike. So just make sure you're staying within that limit and you should be all good. And then for anything like an alternative frame bike or a kid's bike, we probably will need a bike adapter bar to ensure it fits properly on these dual arms. And for carbon frame bikes, we do probably want to avoid those entirely because hanging by the frame can damage that frame. Now, aside from that, it doesn't have any other features like tilting away or anything like that. So we don't really get all the bells and whistles that we might with something else, but it is solid. Now I'm gonna get the bike unloaded here and we can get a closer look at it. To get those zip strips out, it's just these two tabs that we pinch in on the side and lift that out. They do fully remove, so keep a close eye on them because they do have a tendency to kind of fall off, walk off on their own once you remove them. So you may, you want to make sure you don't lose them. With all those off, you can just lift the bike off, set it to the side, and then, like I said, put those zip strips back in place so you don't lose them. If you do find that you've lost them, you can get replacements here with us. But ideally, you'd like to avoid having to replace them to begin with. Now, from here, let's get some measurements. We'll start off with our distance added to the back. And that is gonna be right at like 38 inches. Not too bad, but if we have bikes unloaded and we don't wanna fully remove it from the hitch, we can just come to this gray lever sort of button thing up here and fold those arms down to the storage position. And now it's only gonna be adding about 11 inches to the back of the motorhome. A lot more convenient and manageable. Something I do want to point out is the integrated cable lock here on the back. It just slides into this upright portion right here. And there is a tab that this will lock to on the front of the arm right here, kind of next to the bottle opener. So our bikes can be locked to the rack. Moving on down the bike rack, you can see it does fit in our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt, keeping it solid in the hitch and secure. Everything's under one key system, so that cable lock and the hitch lock are all together. One thing I do wanna point out here is even though we have this compartment right here and the bike rack doesn't tilt away, we still get pretty good access to it. So it's not like we're sacrificing any sort of functionality with our vehicle. You just won't be able to open that up all the way like you might with some other racks. And overall, if you're looking for something that's gonna be solid back here and keep your bikes really still and potentially even be future-proof for any other upgrades to your motor home or camp or setup, this is a great option. It's gonna work with anything you put it on as long as there's clearance and it's gonna hold the bikes really well. Thanks for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side-to-side -side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are gonna be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is going to be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on.